What is up guys, Stark here. I am back for day 20 of the 25 Days of Fate. And I know I said in day 20 I would be doing my pulls from Merlin, but I kind of messed up. So, obviously Merlin's not out yet. And that's my fault. I thought Merlin would be coming out today. And I got my times wrong. I've been so busy making all these videos and with work and everything. Completely didn't realize that he was actually coming out tomorrow instead of today. And that really screwed up my schedule. I have I had the, all the videos planned for the rest of the event, and that really screwed me up. You know, <laughs> I don't have anything scheduled for today, and so I'm just here, gonna be talking for a little bit about what I'm planning on doing. And in the background, I do have the final two fights for Babylonia, so you guys can check that out. Uh, I did record a few fights, but I didn't really think Babylonia was that difficult for me, so I didn't really. Uh, I didn't really make any like in-depth detail videos or things like that. Also, the event period for that ends in like three hours as of recording this video. So at this point, I feel like it'd be a little pointless to go ahead and make that video with the event period, uh, the event period ending. But yeah, um, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about what I'm planning on doing going forward into 2019. I guess you can kind of say that this is my Fate Grand Order New Year Resolution video. So one of the things that I mainly talked about before is that I want to make a Japan account or use the one that I already have. Like I have an account, but I primarily use it just for friending servants that aren't available in global so I can get the images and noble phantasms ready for my character spotlights. And that's all well and good, but I really do want to also expand and focus on events and new banners and things like that. And my Japan account really sucks, so I can't do any of the content, so I'm going to try and level it up and play, and I'm going to have it be a free-to-play account, so I can do like free-to-play videos and free-to-play fights and team compositions for free-to-play units and things like that, so I don't know if, what account I'm going to use, but I'm going to try and get something put together by the beginning of next year, so I can try and catch up quickly and you know, experience the new events and the new banners as they come around. And hopefully that'll help me give you guys better information for when they do come out to global. I'll have more knowledge of the stuff and I can help you guys more. So that's one of the things I plan on doing. I'm also going to make uh, a third account. Now this account, I'm probably not going to keep, but what I want to do is I want to play through the story mode again with like a fresh account because I don't have any videos on my channel at all of story or anything like that and that's one of the things that I really regret doing. I don't know anything about the story really. I always skip the dialogue and I hate that. I want to go back and read it all and experience it from a fresh account going through. So I'm going to do that and then once that account catches up to where my main account is in the story then I'm just going to stop with that account and focus on my main account again and just make those videos as the story comes along. Uh, maybe I'll give that account away or something, I don't know. But yeah, that's what I want to do. I know I could like go back and reread the dialogue in my room, but I want to like do the fights and things like that. So that'll be like a new video channel that I'm going to have. It'll be like it'll be exclusive for stories. The videos will probably be very long because it's also going to include the dialogue and all the fights. So I'm gonna, I'll probably have like a video for like each chapter in, in each story mode. So that's something I'm probably gonna do. You know, let me know what you guys think about that. Is that a good idea, a bad idea? Should I do it differently? Let me know. Um, I don't know exactly when I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna try and get it ready by the end of the year. So come January, I can get started on it. But yeah, that's that's my focus for 2019. I'm just gonna try and do do a better job at making better videos for you guys, more videos, like better content. I'm gonna stream more. I'm gonna work on my account. Like I I have good servants in my account. You know, I have a lot of good five stars, but I don't play the game as much as I should, and I don't have them leveled up. I have a lot of low level characters in my box. I basically pull for them, do the events, and then I don't worry about leveling up my characters. So I'm going to try and change that, I'm going to try and do better and get my servants to a higher level, max ascend them, get their skills leveled up, you know, farm the event shops, things like that. I really want to make 2019, like, I want Fade to be my primary focus as far as games go. So hopefully that will translate to making better content for you guys, and I'm really going to put a, a, an effort into doing that for you. So again, 
any suggestions you guys have for videos, things like that, I'm always open to that. I will try and make lore videos. I know a ton of you guys really want me to make lore videos. Uh, it's not something I've ever looked at or considered before, but a lot of you guys really do want that, and I'll definitely consider doing that as well. I'll do more like try and make more how to videos and tutorial videos to help newer players and things like that. And you know, I just have a lot of things planned, a lot of things I want to do, and usually I play a lot of mobile games, and that's why I can't focus as much on Fate. But I've stopped playing most of them, or at least stopped making videos for most of them, which means I have a lot more time to focus on Fate. But another thing I do want to talk about, and I, I don't know how you guys will feel about this, but I do also want to make videos for like PlayStation and Xbox and things like that. So I'm going to be playing games and uploading them. I have a few games on my channel right now, and I'll probably upload more of those in the upcoming months, you know, going into 2019 and stuff like that. That's, that's primarily what my YouTube channel was originally supposed to be for, and you know, I found the mobile games and it kind of just, it kind of just went off and it did much better than I thought it would, and I've just been doing it ever since because of that. And now my channel has kind of transitioned from a One Piece account into a, a Fate YouTube channel, and you know, that's not going anywhere. Of course, you know, I just spent like five minutes talking about how I want to make more Fate videos for you guys. But, you know, playing console games is definitely something that I really enjoy as well. And I might, you know, start uploading those onto my channel as well. I don't know if it'll be a different channel or the same channel. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. But expect something like that to happen. You know, though that might be more of, like, streaming and stuff. I might just go on and stream them. And then just upload it to YouTube later. But that's another thing I'm planning on doing. So stay tuned for that. You know, I do plan on streaming a lot more. If you guys knew me before I played Fate, then you guys know that I, I used to stream a lot. And for whatever reason, I just stopped doing it. But I'm going to try and get back to it. I'm going to try and stream more. You know, I work more of a consistent schedule now. So I can, I can actually reliably stream and have a good schedule. On that note, though, on that note, though um, if you guys have any suggestions for a subscriber badge on Twitch or an emote on Twitch, let me know. I have the options for those, but I have no idea what I want to make for them, and I need to know so I can I can find out uh, a way to get those made and have those ready for when I stream. So any ideas are welcomed. So just let me know in the comments below, and you know I'll see if there's anything in there I like, and maybe we can we can go from there. Um, but yeah, as for the rest of the schedule um, for the, the 25 Days of Fate. Tomorrow is going to be Merlin. I'll still be live streaming it. You know, everything I said yesterday is going to hold true. It's just going to happen tomorrow instead of today. So stay tuned for that. You know, hopefully all you guys can come out for the stream. Hopefully all you guys have Merlin by then. You know, I do work tomorrow, so I will have to do it later. I can't stay up until the event banner drops. But when I get home, I'll come on and stream and do my pulls and then... I'll probably stay on for a little bit while, you know, a little bit longer and take a look at Solomon and see what's going on there. After that though, I'm going to do my friend point pulls for Angra Manu. The reason why I'm not doing that today instead of after Merlin is because I do not want to waste all my luck getting him and then not get Merlin. And I'm very superstitious when it comes to things like that, so I'm just going to hold off until after Merlin to do that. And hopefully I get him, you know, I already made a video earlier on about me pulling for him and not getting him. So hopefully this time around I can get him. After that though, I do have the 2019 banner schedule video ready to go. Um, this video, I waited until, I'm going to wait until after Merlin for it because Merlin is the last banner of 2018. So I figured after his banner comes out, then I could post that video to show you guys what's coming in 2019. Uh, but that video is going to be really, really long. Um, it's not quite done yet, so obviously that's why it's not here today. But I'm working very hard on it, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Again, it's going to be really long though, so just hang in there, and hopefully it'll all come together very well. After that, it will be uh, my Sunday spotlights for Musashi. She will be the first uh, servant coming out in the new year, hopefully the new one anyway. So stay tuned for that, that one should be pretty cool. She's a fantastic servant, and I really hope I get her as well. After that on the 24th, on Christmas Eve, I have a little bit of a unique special video 
I'm not gonna spoil you guys on what it actually is so you know be surprised when it comes out that one should be pretty cool uh, it's a little different it's not exclusively about like fate grand order content it's still about fate but it's just gonna be a little bit different and I hope you guys enjoy it and if you do then you know I'll try and make more of those type of videos going forward in the future and then on the 25th I will be live streaming on Christmas at some point in the day I'll keep you guys posted but I'll be live streaming and that'll be the giveaway and that'll be recorded and uploaded on YouTube as well so if you guys can't make the stream check the video on YouTube and maybe you're the lucky one who won we did hit the like goal so there will be that consolation prize for I'm not exactly sure how much it's gonna be for the, the second place prize but it'll be something and then I think I'll also do a third a third place consolation prize so We'll have three winners, at least three winners, on the 25th. And I'll probably do a little bit of a longer stream and farm something. And yeah, um, th that's my plan going forward. I do have two other videos planned that I might post on Christmas, but I might not, just depending on how quickly I can get them done. They're going to be longer videos as well. So I might wait to post those as like a bonus video, uh, sometimes towards the, the end of the year slash new year. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for all that stuff. I have a ton of stuff planned for you guys, and I really hope you enjoy it all. Um, again, I do apologize for having this uh, kind of bit of a letdown of a video for day 20. You know, we're 20 days in and a half, but just a video of me talking. But, you know, Merlin coming out tomorrow really messed me up. And, I mean, again, that's my fault. I should have known and I should have planned better. But, you know, I, I completely I completely missed it. I was too busy farming and getting things ready to go. And I completely just missed that. <laughs> I had my days messed up. But anyway guys, uh, that was the schedule, that's kind of like my my Fate Grand Order resolution for 2019. Again, let me know if you guys have any suggestions, I'm always open to that. I, I want to make the best content possible for you guys, because without you guys, I really don't, I really am nothing, I don't have anything, and again, thank you, thank you so much for, for watching my videos and liking them, I would hope. You know, we, uh, I had a goal of getting to 6,000 before the end of the 25 Days of Fate, and we smashed that. I am on my way to 7,000, and we might actually hit 7,000 before the end of the year. So hopefully uh, we could do that. That would be awesome. Uh, but yeah, I just I can't thank you guys enough for watching my videos and supporting me. So thank you for that, and we have plenty more videos for you guys to come in the future. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. この一撃をもって結滅の儀としよう。全種回復、加減はなしと絶望に挑む。深淵に落ちるがいい。誰も起こすものはおらぬ。
とうございますなんだかすごく嬉しいです先輩私今日この時の気持ちをずっと忘れませんじゃない。